Good morning, everyone. In Afreidach and Hanukkah, we continue here in the Pele Yoyitz, where he's describing to us that there is a mitzvah in the Torah that says, He shomar lecha ushmar nafshecha ma'id. Guard yourself very much. Vinishmartem ma'id the nafshe seichem. And it says at another time, guard your souls, which means guard yourself, your flesh, your body, your life. Guard it very well. And we find that this is the only place in the Torah where it gives a command that says, Ma'id, you should do it very much. Which means that the preciousness and the value of life, the sanctity of life is something that is so beloved in the eyes of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He wants to make sure that we take care of ourselves. That we should live, as the Torah says elsewhere, V'chai Behem, we're supposed to live with the mitzvahs, live in Torah, live with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. If a person puts themselves in the dangerous predicaments and situations and does uh, stunts and death-defying acts just to, to get himself enthusiastic about life, as we pointed out yesterday, so he is violating this mitzvah. L'chein, therefore, loy ya'amayid adam b'makim sakana. A person should not stand in a dangerous place. He shouldn't go on roads that are dangerous. He shouldn't go across the rivers and the seas in dangerous ways. Unless he has no choice whatsoever to go along the dangerous roads or the, or the rivers or the oceans because he has to sustain himself and he has to live. But if he has to go on places that are dangerous, perhaps there are bandits and thieves and there are dangerous animals lurking all over, he should at least take with him armed men who can accompany him. They'll decrease the amount of danger that there is according to the laws of nature. If you have to walk through the Amazon jungle and there are wild animals all around you and it's dangerous to be there, at least take an armed gunsman with you so that in case the lion starts charging at you, he'll be able to shoot him. According to the laws of nature, he'll be able to stop the danger that is there. However, if you could go on dry land, you could go the more circuitous route, however, it's a safer route. And you don't have to go on the rivers and the oceans, which are much more dangerous. You should take the simpler, safer route. I will take you a longer time to get there. Nevertheless, it's safe. Safety first, says the Peleyoyets. And according to the danger that is involved, if HaKadosh Baruch Hu makes a miracle for you and saves you, like we mentioned before, HaKadosh Baruch Hu wipes out your bank account of merits in, this, in the next world because He had to use them up in order to rescue and to save you. Really, HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to give you your reward in the world to come. That's the ultimate place where the Neshama can bask in the glory of the Shekhinah. It's a spiritual delight that the Neshama is going to have based on all of the mitzvahs, all the Torah, all the chesed, everything you did in this world, you're going to have a tremendous reward waiting that you'll enjoy spiritually in the world to come. However, if a person puts themselves into a situation of danger in this world, and they, don't ha- and they need schus and they need merits to be able to survive and live, and be able to plow through the dangerous situation that is there, HaKadosh Baruch Hu then dips into the bank account of your spiritual merits and he, he converts them into physical protection here in this world and you lose them in the world to come. Therefore, as much as you can decrease the element of danger involved in the things that you're doing, whether you have to pay more money, you'll have to take you'll have to charter a plane instead of going on some rickety boat down the river. You'll have to pay a little bit more to have an arms gunman with you when you're going into Arab territories because you have no choice but to be there for some reason or another. Or it takes longer to go the circuitous route, or it's more energy and more effort that you have to expend in order to put yourself into a situation that is less dangerous than dangerous. 
Such a person is considered to be a zayis. He is zealous and alacritous in his mitzvahs. V'niskar, he will be rewarded handsomely by HaKadosh Baruch Hu. V'ashevach yoser ala hitzah, the praise that he receives for doing all of this to protect himself and guard himself is worth much more than the amount of money that he had to spend or the effort that he had to expend in order to do things in a safer way. And you are fulfilling the mitzvah of guard yourself very much. You should know that that mitzvah alone is, a, is worthwhile enough to guard you and save you from all difficulties. Or bring blessing into your house. You guard yourself. You watch over yourself, you're careful with yourself, you, you steer clear of dangerous situations, that itself will save you from other places in your life and will bring special bracha into your house. You'll be complete in your body, complete in your money, you'll have nothing that is lacking from you. Later on, towards the end of the Sefer, we're going to hit a chapter called Shmira, guarding oneself. He is going to speak about this more in depth. Says the Pelayoyets, love yourself. And if you love yourself, you'll guard yourself. Guarding yourself means you appreciate the value and the sanctity of life. Don't put yourself in dangerous situations. Don't do things that you know could hurt you or you could get hurt. Or accidents, chalila v'chas, we drive on the road, we're supposed to drive safely. When they tell us not to be texting and driving, there's a reason. It's dangerous. When they tell you to keep your hands on the wheel and keep your eyes in front of you, there's a reason they tell you that because it's dangerous to drive otherwise. So let's put ourselves in positions where we show that we value the sanctity of our lives. We would like to live long, healthy lives at Meyav Esim Shana till 120 years. We have to do our hishtadlis, our efforts here in this world, in the world of Tev, in the world of nature. And one of the greatest ways that we do our effort and our hishtadlis is we guard ourselves very much. We steer clear of the dangerous situations. We do things safely and with safety. Even if it costs more money, even if it's tircha yisera, extra work and, and effort that we have to put in, it's all worth it. Because it shows how Kodesh Baruch how much we want to be here in this world to be mekayim to do His will. Have a wonderful day.